In the heart of the dense, emerald forest, where sunlight trickled through the leaves like golden honey, lived a cunning snake named Seraphis and a sprightly squirrel named Quiver. Seraphis was known for his silver tongue and sly ways, while Quiver was admired for his nimble feet and quick wit. One bright morning, as Quiver was gathering acorns for the upcoming winter, Seraphis slithered silently through the underbrush, his scales glistening in the dappled light. Seraphis watched Quiver with keen eyes, hatching a plan to trick the squirrel out of his hard-earned stash. Good day, Quiver, Seraphis hissed smoothly, raising his head from the foliage. I see you are quite busy preparing for the cold months ahead. Quiver paused, his fluffy tail twitching with curiosity and caution. Good day, Seraphis. Yes, indeed. I must ensure I have enough food to last through winter. Seraphis feigned a smile. Ah, but do you know the secret to doubling your acorn collection without much effort? Quiver's ears perked up. The idea of having more acorns with less work was appealing. What secret might that be? There's a hidden grove, Seraphis began, his voice smooth as silk. Not far from here, filled with the largest, sweetest acorns you could ever dream of. But it is guarded by a rather simple puzzle. Solve it, and the bounty is yours. Quiver's eyes sparkled with excitement. Show me this grove, with a satisfied flick of his tongue, Seraphis led Quiver through the winding paths of the forest, eventually reaching a secluded clearing. In the center stood an ancient oak tree, its branches heavy with acorns. Here we are, Seraphis announced. The puzzle is this, you must find the hidden acorn, the one that shines brighter than the rest. Only then will the tree release its bounty. Quiver approached the tree, eyes scanning the branches for the fabled shining acorn. Hours passed, and the sun began to sink, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink. Exhausted, Quiver plopped down at the base of the tree, despairing at the fruitless search. Meanwhile, Seraphis had slowly and quietly been gathering Quiver's scattered acorns, sneaking them into his own hidden burrow. When he had taken a fair amount, he slithered back to Quiver. Perhaps it's a myth, Seraphis mused, feigning sympathy. But do not worry, Quiver. I am sure you will find another way to fill your stores. Quiver's ears drooped in disappointment, but he thanked Seraphis for his help. As he retraced his steps back home, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The next day, Quiver decided to retrace his steps to the clearing. As he approached, he noticed faint tracks in the dirt, Seraphis tracks, leading not away from the clearing but deeper into the forest. Suspicious, Quiver followed them to a small burrow, peeking inside, Quiver saw his missing acorns. Anger flared in his chest, but he took a deep breath, letting his cunning match Seraphis. Quiver devised a plan. That evening, Quiver visited Seraphis, carrying a bright, shiny object wrapped in leaves. Seraphis, I found a clue about another treasure, Quiver said with feigned excitement. Seraphis' eyes gleamed with greed. Another treasure, you say? Quiver nodded. Yes, but it's guarded by a tricky mechanism. I thought you, with your clever mind, could help me retrieve it. Lured by the promise of more riches, Seraphis followed Quiver to a hollow tree, where Quiver had placed the shiny object a discarded piece of glass in a small niche. Reach inside and twist the object, Quiver instructed. As Seraphis did so, a hidden trap sprung, ensnaring the snake in a makeshift net. Quiver's eyes twinkled with triumph. Sometimes, Seraphis, the best treasure is the lesson learned, 
Never underestimate the squirrel. With that, Quiver retrieved his stolen acorns and scampered away, leaving Seraphis to contemplate the consequences of his deceit. The forest, as always, remained a place of balance, 